morning, y'all. It is Saturday, I think. Um, let's go somewhere. Henry is on steroids. It's either that or he's got a big buff relative. Now, first of all, let me start by saying, because I might forget, that um, all of y'all, the hundreds of you that want to say, I told you so, you can if you want to. Um, but trust me, I have been hearing it and hearing it and hearing it. So, um, I get it. Yesterday, um, I was sitting in my recliner. And of course, you know, I wasn't watching television. So, I was, I was facing like the living room, the kitchen. So I was sitting there and I had my phone and I was answering comments. And I see some movement out of the corner of my eye and I look up just in time to see a rat run out from behind my refrigerator to behind the water heater. Oh my Lord freaked me out. It takes quite a bit really to freak me out. Um, so I was like almost in shock. And I'm like, holy crap. Crap. Oh my God. And before I can get all that out, he runs out from behind the water heater and into what I hope is going to be a laundry room. I was so freaked out. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. I was, y'all know I don't get freaked out about much. If you can live in your van and be a single senior citizen, you can deal with a lot. And I was never afraid, never. But I was terrified. I don't know that I have ever been, well, maybe when my ex-husband was choking me out. But I mean, y'all, I was so freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I was afraid to get out of my chair. I was in shock. Henry was huge. He was at least a good four to five inches long. And we're talking body. Then you add on a tail that's almost as long as the body. Now, that is pretty freaking scary. So, I put my recliner in an upright position, made sure Hazel saw me, and I ran out the front door. And not only that, I had to pee so Bad. Now, you don't want to go to your neighbor's house and say, oh, excuse me, can I pee in your toilet? No, you don't want to do that. So, I got Leo. I said, Leo, I have a rat in my house. Can you please come and see if you can scare him out of there? Because I really need your help. I'm terrified. Sweet little man, he is. He came over. I gave him my broom, which had been outside because I sweep my patio all the time. There's a tow truck. <laughs> I remember 
In the days of tank, I used a tow truck fairly often. Y'all remember that. Y'all that have been with me for a long time. Thank you, Lord. I don't need that tow truck. Or at least I don't think so. <laughs> so anyway, poor little Leo grabbed my broom. And I said, just bang it around. Bang it on the walls. Blank, you know, bang it on the cabinets. See if you can scare him out. Maybe he'll run outside. Well, he went down through my house, banging on everything. No rat. The only thing I can think of is there's another hole back there somewhere. And he got out of there. So I made Leo stay until I went to the bathroom. So I grabbed my cot, my older cot, that really I was going to donate, and I just hadn't got to it. I grabbed that cot, I went in my room, I grabbed my, rolled up my foam pad and my blankets and my pillow, and I ran out of there. Oh, and I grabbed my potty. So I threw everything into the van. And I was sitting there in my recliner once again. And he came out from behind the water heater and was sitting there just looking at me. Like, what are you going to do about it? There wasn't a thing I could do about it, y'all, except get the heck out of there. Now, there have been a few people that have made some disparaging remarks about my friends, Sandy and Jeff. Got the little quail thing going on. Um, I want you to know, I called them and told them, and immediately... They got a pest control person lined up to come out this morning. They were going to get me a motel room to stay in. So, whoever you guys are that are critical of my friends, you can just stuff it, okay? Because they are wonderful, wonderful people. They are going to take care of of me and little Hazel. I didn't want to get the motel room. That's expensive, y'all. That's I got something on my glasses. That that's really I can't see. Um that's wasted money. So um I just stayed in my van. I was fine out there. It wasn't cold last night. Um I watched um Hulu I had great internet connection. I watched it on my laptop. By the way, I'm watching a new series. I guess it started last year and it's called 911. It is good, y'all. It's good. And it's going to start up the second season um, here in a few days. Now, um,. I had to get out of there. I can't sleep in there. The mice, that didn't really bother me, y'all. Mice are, I mean, I was raised in the country. There were mice everywhere. We had feed and um, grain for our horses that had molasses in it that was sweet. Mice love that stuff. But, when I saw with my own green eyes that rat, yeah, Hazel and I are taking a trip. We're going to Washington. Y'all are going with me? Hazel's fine. She's always ready for a trip. If I'm acting a little weird, 
It's because I feel a little weird. So, but let me tell y'all how divinely this has worked out. First of all, and these are not going to be in any particular order, uh, just as they come to my mind. First of all, I didn't plant my grass yet. I don't have to worry about my grass getting watered. My neighbors sweetly volunteered to water my stuff for me while I'm gone. The pest control guy, his name is Luke. What a sweetheart. He knows his stuff. Now, I used to manage a pest control company. I think, I, I know I've mentioned that probably a couple times before. So, when he was talking about me, to I mean, talking to me about what he was going to do, I mean, it was right on. At least compared to the company that I used to work for. I used to sit in on their training classes because I thought it was interesting. Termites, squirrels mice, rats, fleas, roaches. Um, <clears throat> he got there this morning about 9 o'clock. I was afraid to go in the house and take a shower. Y'all, I hadn't brushed my teeth, I hadn't taken a shower, hadn't brushed my hair, nothing. I did not get out of my house, I think, until he showed up. Oh, and on top of that, the cable guys came last night. And I was sitting in my van because it was getting dark. And I was not going to be in that house when it got dark. I mean, this rat had the audacity. It was mid-afternoon, you guys. It was sunny. And he's out there running around in my house. So, um... As, as soon as Luke started telling me everything that he was going to do, I knew I couldn't stay there. And I could not sleep in my van at night and be there during the day. I am not going to cry. But there has to be traps. You really have to be aggressive. And I know that. I am praying. I have been praying that those little critters will just get the hell out of there. Run for your life. But I don't think all of them will. But anyway, back to the plan. Um, I knew that uh, I just couldn't stay there. A motel is not an option. Um, I didn't want to stay for a week or two in my van. I need to go see my kids anyway. And I've been putting that off. So, with me gone, Luke can just Get in there and really get that problem taken care of. Um, and we don't have to worry about Hazel because if she got into a trap, it would really hurt her because she's little. So now he can put a lot of traps out and take care of the problem sooner. He's already, um, you know, put the big plastic black boxes around the outside. But I couldn't stay for that, though. I just couldn't do it. Not just because of Henry, but you hear stuff, y'all, when those traps go off. So anyway, the other way that it worked out is thanks to you all, my viewers, giving me a thumbs up, making comments, watching my videos, watching the ads, 
my AdSense was up a little this month. Y'all, what a blessing is that? I have gas money to go to Washington. And I can still pay my bills. I'm such a blessed woman, you guys, that it just blows my mind. It really does. It's almost scary. But I want to thank all of y'all because without your support, it would have been a struggle to um, be able to make this trip. So, I mean, oh, and the other thing is the contractor's not due to start until the end of the month. So, do you see how all of these things just came together at the right time? I'm totally amazed. And I'm so sorry I didn't put out that video about uh, Hazel. And, um, and there's another one I need to put out too because uh, there's yet another little change. But just know that she is very well taken care of. She is not, her ears are not causing her any pain. She's fine. She actually gets a little more loving than she did before. And more attention because I have to make sure that I'm facing her. She's learning to come when I do this. She sees me and I do this and she, she comes. Um, I'm being very careful not to let her out of my sight. And y'all know I would never let anything happen to her. And somebody was so nasty and said, Oh, that guy's name was not Succubus. It was so cold bliss. How could you have a name Bliss with such a nasty attitude? I, I just think it's funny. <laughs> but there was one ignorant person on the channel that made the comment, Well, I think something happened to Hazel and she's hiding it. Good Lord. You know what? If I'm confessing to my rat problem, I would definitely let y'all know if anything happened to my baby. But I will tell you before I close out this video, and the ones I've made lately have been way too long, y'all. But I, I thought for a few seconds, I don't think I'm going to make a video about this. Because people are just going to be coming out of the woodwork saying, I told you so. You should have known better, you stupid old country girl. Don't you know that you had rats? And blah, 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 blah. I get it. I was being stupid. But it was because I can't stand to kill anything. But, it is what it is, and it's to the point that I have to do it, and it took a lot to get me there. I had to actually see the poor little rat. So anyway, y'all, I only thought about not making a video for just a few seconds because I share everything with you guys. I mean everything. You can ask me anything. And I'll share it with you. I, I'm an open book. Y'all know that. So, here it is, y'all. Bring it on. <laughs> Hazel and I are going to get started. We just had breakfast. It is 1.21 in the afternoon. I've kind of been waiting for my son to give me a call back because I texted him and I said, Aaron, got a rat problem. Hazel and I need to come up for a few days. And I kind of wanted, bleh, kind of wanted to hear back from him before I actually got on the road. But I know he'll be there. Um, you know, he works all the time. 
So anyway, y'all, Hazel and I are going to get started, and I'll be talking to you later. Do something fun today. This is our fun. We're taking a trip. Bye, y'all. Talk to you later.